Google. It's me, Mars44, and I'm back with another Card Fight Vanguard, Crayon Line, Deck Profile. Today's Deck Profile, we have, with the release of EB11, uh, the Phantom that was drawn, pulled into the Abyss, but is now back. Revenge of Phantom Blast Abyss. So yeah, uh, with the release of EB11, this boss card is out for, um, Revengers, and it's pretty good. Um, the one downside is it can't restand unless it's the turn you use Legion, but that's not too bad considering it's a restanding Vanguard. Um, so it still brings tons of pressure, and if you find a way to cope with it and just work around it, well, there you go. You can still win a lot of the time. So it's not a huge thing, but it does kind of weaken it a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, so let's jump right into this deck. Uh, I will say though, very strong deck. Um, very, very pressure heavy, and you know, as all Avengers deck, Dex do, loses their regards easily, but keeps them intact. Anyways, um, let's jump right into it. So our starter is Creeping Dark Goat, the Great Three Searcher. Uh, I was looking around trying to figure out what starter fit best. I noticed that this was the only one that seemed to work uh, the best, uh, especially finding out the starter, the starting Legion unit you want to use because you don't want to start with Phantom Blaster Abyss uh, because of the fact that he's... He's a really standing vanguard. You normally want though for the end of the game to just try to push for game. Um, so he helps me search for my other legion unit, and none of the other starters really help. Uh, I looked at some deck profiles because I was confused, and most of them use this. So you know what? I was like, okay, let's try it out, and it worked out beautifully. So yeah. Anyways. Let's move on. So we have four Revenger Phantom Blaster Abyss. That's not Phantom Blaster Abyss. Um, so if you don't know what he does, uh, his Legion mate is Blaster Dark Revenger Abyss. And his Legion skill is you counter last two, choose three of your rearguards with Revenger in its card name, and retire them. And then during the turn that's this unit from Legion, at the end of the battle after this unit attacked Vanguard, you may pay the cost, and if you do, you stand all of your Vanguard. So, Phantom Blaster, uh, sorry. So, Blaster Dark Abyss also stands. So, um, and his other skill is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, this unit gets power plus 2000 until the end of the battle. So, it'll swing for like 28 or 27 the first, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, 28 or 27 the first time, and then it'll swing for 22, uh, the second time. So, it's really, really strong. Um, I guess you can kind of see how it it's it's better late game. I mean, it's a race standing vanguard, and on top of which, you swing for, for quite a bit. Um, I mean, 15k the second time for one to pass, and like what uh, the first time is like d depending on if you get triggers as well, right? Uh, because I think the downside is with things saver, you have to re ride, which means the triggers don't slap onto it. Whereas with Phantom Abyss, Blaster Abyss, you could just slap the trigger power on it and be like, restand and then attack again. So I guess that's the upside of this. But um, yeah, just really strong and brings that great restanding pressure late like game um, when they're at like four damage above. So yeah. Um, anyways, let's move on. So our other grade three is four Ambitious Spirit Revenger, Cormac. Um, if you don't know what she does, I think it's a she, so I'm just going to say she. You guys can correct me if you want. <laughs> um, her uh, legion mate is Battle Spirit Revenger Mechart, and what she does is you choose one of your rearguards and retire it, and then when this unit attacks a vanguard, if this unit is in legion, you may pay the cost, and if you do, it gets plus one crit until end of turn. So it's very, very good for pressuring early on. Uh, because a lot of the time, people will be scared of the restanding more because you have more chances to pull more crits than um, this just plus one crit. So they normally save up their shield. I mean, it's it's Legion, so you know they could guard early. But even if they do, that means they're more capable of being hit by Phantom Blast or Abyss. Um, but yeah, with uh, with her, she's very very strong in the sense that she's a great starting Legion. Vanguard, um, you know, bringing that plus one crit a few turns just 
trying to dish it out on your opponent. Push them to four as soon as possible. That's that's basically what you want to do with her. Once you hit grade three, you just slap on Legion and pu try to push them to four as four damage as soon as possible. And once you got that, you just ride into Phantom Blaster Abyss and just pressure them with the restand. Just pressure the crap out of them with it. Um, and its other skill is when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have another unit in the center column, this unit gets plus 3,000 until the end of the battle. So, um, it can swing for quite a bit, 29-ish, 30k-ish, depending. Um, yeah, but let's move on to our grade 2s. So we have 4 Blaster Dark Revenger Abyss. Um, I thought they were actually going to use uh, Blaster Dark Revenger. For the Legion main, I was thinking, oh, that'd be cool. Um, but no, they changed it up, and I guess it was because of Dorrent. Um, it'd be a little unfair, because you'd get to abuse Dorrent and then just keep doing as much crap as you want. So, <laughs> that makes sense. But anyways, if you don't know what it does, uh, Counter Blast 1, and when this unit is placed on Rear Guard, if you have a Vanguard with Revenger in its card name, you can pay the cost, and if you do, you choose one of your opponent's grade 1 or less Rear Guards and retire it. So... Uh, he's a lot better than Blaster Dark Revenger was, um, and in this deck, I actually use him because in, in, like, Raging Form Dragon, you know, you want to abuse Tart 2 and just use Blaster Dark Revengers and Flippers, use Mordred Phantom Scale, plus 5, and you get the Spirit Cult something, um, Claudus to get the Blaster Dark Revenger to unflip stuff, uh, or, you know, it's, it's basically a tutor, but, um, and even Raging Form Dragon, the first attack before you... Uh, Persona Ride, uh, you can Counter Blast the one to add an extra, like, two or three. I think it was two. Um, but you could hit 21 with that, which I did a lot. Um, and you just never used it, but what I like about this is, you know, you actually get to use it. Sometimes I find myself using it, and sometimes I don't. Depends on the situation, uh, if the thing's important to get rid of or something, and it's just a solid card. Um, and I mean, it's Phantom Blaster Abyss's Legion Mate, so you have to play four. That's that's kind of how these work. But um, yeah, it's still a really, really solid card. And I actually get to use his skill more often now because normally, yeah, you know, you lose four Counter Blast, but if you pull a heal, you know, you might not. Um, you might have an extra one to use him in Dark Bond. Get some pluses, minus them a bit. Yeah. That's always good. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on. Uh, so we also have four Battle Spirit Revenger Macart. Um, so if you don't know what he does, he's Legion Mate of Cormac. And when your Vanguard performs Legion, you search your deck for up to one Grade One or less card with Revenger in its card name. Call it Rear Guard's Rest, and then shuffle your deck. So. Very strong, um, very good card to give you the pluses you need and such. And I play four because uh, it's really kind of the only card that helps you get your pluses. Um, on top of which, it's it's a legion mate, so you got to play four. Um, but I like to be just as I can because I just want to get as many pluses as I can, and it's very very handy. Uh, it combos actually pretty nicely with the other grade two because you do have to call it a rest. Um, and the other grade 2 can actually beef up from it. Um, so that's good because you can utilize the fact that you have one part as rest. And then you can just kill it afterwards um, to grant your vanguard the plus one crit. Um, or just kill it with Phantom Blaster Abyss if you're using it with that. But normally I only use him early, early on because that's what I aim for. Because um, by then... By Phantom Blaster Abyss, I normally want to have a full field that actually attacks. Uh, with him, he's better early on to, you know, just call the thing as rest, um, beef up the other side, and then, uh, or, I mean, if he's already on the other side, you beef up somebody else. It, it depends. But, um, and then uh, after your Vanguard attacks, you know, you kill it to give it a plus one crit and just kind of pressure with the crit and little beefs from that so it, it really is worth your while um I'll, I'll explain a little more once we look at our other grade two right now which is three overcoming revenger rukia uh came up bt15 but if you still don't know what it does when a grade one or less shadow paladin is placed on rear guard if you have a vanguard with revenger in its card name this unit gets power plus 3000 until end of turn this is the card i was talking about 
Um, now, I mean, if you picture it, you have your Vanguard, your Legion, Core Mac Legion. Uh, Mac Rat is in the rear guard, so you get the Spirit Call Grade 1. It gets plus 3, and I mean, if you call even another Grade 1, or I think a Grade 0 works too, yes? Uh, grade 1 or less, yep. Um, I mean, the Grade zeros are more for late game with, like, Dark Bond and stuff, but it can still get beefed up, and it combos with a really well just with Macrat to keep up the power on top of which that you're just going to kill that rest of the unit and give your vanguard plus one crit so it helps keep up with that and it also um helps really beat up your opponent late game uh with its counterpart when you use like dark bond trumpeter um so most of the time i do find myself using dark bond trumpeter but you know there are times i find myself using Blast your Dark Abyss, but you know, sometimes you pull the heal too, so that's what I mean, sometimes. <laughs> right? Um, for Abyss, Blast your Dark Abyss, yeah. Um, but yeah, just a really, really strong card. Um, and I mean, Legion's really about setup. As you can tell, I don't play any 12Ks. It's big on setup, um, like for your Legion and everything. And the 12Ks are kind of just eh. I mean, they're good. But you can tell in the Gitter Grass, well, I didn't play it either. And it's just setup's a lot more important, especially how much uh, you need for legions and stuff and what some cards can do. And you need to save Counter Blast for legions or Soul Blast for legions. And you need enough soul or you need to save enough Counter Blast. And it's just, you got to do it like that now. So I like it um, going a little bit back to the old days where it's all about setup and such. Um, but yeah, let's move on to our grade ones. Uh, three, Revenger of Darkness, Maclear. So three P-Guards, and one, Hatred, Prison, Revenger, Keirusuaru. I don't know how to say that. So <laughs> one Quintet Wall. And then we have four, Transit, Revenger, Massacre, Raid. So your four 10k beaters. Uh, these are pretty handy because they can just snipe out some people who can set up or, um, just try to pressure on some rear guard. Rear guards, uh, can make, make some nice... Uh, decent columns at least that hit legion mates um, late game um, You know, maybe you have dark bond behind them, so you can just at least hit the legion mate nicely or Maybe a draw triggers behind it, and you can just swing at a 9k rear guard to minus their shield a little bit um, But yeah, just really really helpful for this deck. There's not too many grade ones that you can actually play for this deck um, That will work really really well, so just Really, really solid for the deck then. Um, and then we have four self control Avenger Rakia. Um, now, I actually debated on this card a bit. Um, it's the self counterpart to Rukia, and I was thinking of playing four of Rukia. Uh, I think I might change it to four of the grade two version, uh, which means I'll play playing 13 grade ones, which isn't bad. Um, but the reason being is because Rukia can help early on and late game, whereas He's really just helpful late game, so, um, yeah, um, I don't know why I have it to four and Rukia is at three. Just give me one second, I can't believe I'm about to do this in a deck profile. <laughs> there we go, so we have four Overcoming Revenger Rukia, and three Self-Control Revenger Rakia. Um, so, yeah, just, just misguard the fact, mis misregard the fact that I just did that, so shh, what? What? I didn't change cards in the deck profile because I realized something. <laughs> what? That's a Marley for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really solid for the late game combo and such. Uh, you know, calling grade zeros. You could just spam call grade zeros to power them up because... I, I don't know why. But he doesn't make a bad call behind uh, Phantom Blaster Abyss. I mean, most of the time I find myself maybe calling like one draw trigger, but it still beefs him up. And it'll still beef your part, his uh, counterpart up, uh, which is better. And just, yeah, just a really great pressure card for pressure card for late game. Um, and that's kind of why I just beefed up Rurika, uh, is because it's perfect late game and early game. And you just, you just really want to get it. There's like you want Macaron, and you want this card early game. You want to try for both. So you know what? Uh, four is a smarter way to go with this. Um, I kind of questioned three Rakia when I went into this tech profile. So, you know what? We fixed it. We're good. Don't talk about it. Never happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and finally, for the, the last of our uh, grade ones, we have two Revenger Dark Bond Trumpeter. So, you know, your casual counterblast one with 
yeah, um, it just helps you get some rear guards when you need it to finish your opponent off. Uh, or, you know, you're low on rear guards and you just want to do it. Maybe you're, the game's really, really close. You never know, right? <laughs> you could have killed a lot of stuff for all I know on your side of the field. So, um, just helps you with that and is actually not too bad. It's, it's better late game, um, but it's not too bad early game because you can recycle triggers due to Legion. So, even early game, I have found myself a few times using it, but most of the time I use it late game um, because it's better to not do that but yeah uh, if I do use it late game and I have a turn after I try my best to legion ride again just to be like BAM put that trigger back in deck of course I have to replace it with something but that's no big deal put that trigger back in deck especially if it's heal trigger I would not have I would not lose a heal trigger <laughs> um and then on to our trigger speaking of which uh we have four grim revenger four revenger air raid dragon so a crit uh, four freezing revenger, four draw, and then four healing revenger. So, four heal. Uh, standard trigger light up. Just because, yeah. Um, it works well with the dark draws. Help, you know, you keep up with um, what you kill, and then heals are always important. Crits are super important too. So yeah, hey crit, four draw, four heal. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for the deck profile. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. Very strong deck. I recommend you trying it out. And yeah, that's about it. So remember to like and comment. And go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, the link to the deck list. There's no link to the deck list. The deck list will just be in the description below if you want to look at it. It won't be through Rui, 3 Rui Kaido before because, you know, shh, never happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, also remember to like and uh, no, I already said that. Also, my Twitter, Skype, and Facebook will all be in the description below. You can go check those out. I'll see you guys next time.